Nathan, um, a really good result on Saturday. You've obviously been up and now you've had to bring everybody back down to earth very quickly. You're a professional, but we have to make certain that ready for this, being ready for this week is important and, and planning and preparing for this game now, everything else is put aside, isn't it? Well, of course, uh, but this is exactly the same preparation for this week as it's been for, for last week. Obviously, we've had a bit more time to prepare for them um, this week. We've had a few more days with them, not having a, a midweek game and, and obviously the whirlwind of, of the initial, of, of my own start, if you like. But no, look, it's, it's a vitally important game and one where we know that if we're not right at our best, then we won't get anything from. And you obviously had your, your new assistant in place. Is that all the staff you want now? You've got your whole team behind you? Yeah, look, the, the club have been very good and I thank you know, I thank John and Peter for, for, for that and, 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 and Tony for allowing me to bring those that I need alongside me because it does make it a far better place for me, you know, to have people that know how we work and know how I work and so on. I mean, the two that we've that we've inherited in terms of Rory and Andy have been superb, along with the analyst and, and the support staff. Is, is, a, is a superb support staff here anyway, as you would expect being a Premier League club. Um, but I, 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 uh, it's vitally important that, that obviously my my close sort of working relationships are kept um, from from my previous club and from the time that I've been in football, and that is important because I said they, we work, we do significant work and we do a lot of work, but we work in to a certain sort of time scale and certain sort of uh, routine. So it's good to keep those. And any injuries from, from last weekend, or is everybody looking pretty good? Well, we've we've picked up just one or two little little things in training, but we've got to assess those and see how they are in in, in the morning and things. But but look, it's a big squad, so they're, they're well covered on numbers and, and and so on. Everyone's trained very very well. The intensity has been very good and, uh, and and everything. So look, it, it's been a positive week. And you provided the team last Saturday that perhaps surprised a few people. And because the players played so well, it now gives you quite a difficult situation because those players performed so well. Obviously, they would expect to play again. You can understand that. Well, look, what we've got to do is make sure we pick teams to win games, and, and that's what we've got to do. And if, if tough decisions need to be made, then we'll make those decisions. Or, albeit, we, you know, we, we do like continuity. So if, if, if a certain individual and if 11, 12, 13, 14 individuals are at a really good level, then it's it's quite sometimes natural to, to go with those, but you know we have a strong squad and and it, it's going to need to be utilised. We you know we played a certain way last week um, uh, for certain reasons. Now look, those things may change, and if those things may change, then personnel could change. So we'll we'll see where we are. And moving on, we've got one week left in the transfer market. The window open. You've already openly said that you want to. Uh, make the, the squad a little bit smaller, but you're under no pressure to bring players in, and that would probably presume that you're looking for continuity and you're, you're here for a while. You hope. Well, yeah, definitely hope I'm here for a while. But um, it, uh, more, the more important thing is that we we strengthen the squad. Now, strengthening the squad can mean bringing in one top individual, or it can mean streamlining by by four or five and bringing in two or three that are better than what we, we, we're moving out. So it's difficult decisions to be made, but it's, it's not an easy window, January. And what we won't do is just bring in numbers, just bring in people to think, OK, they could do well for us because we've got good players here. It's just, one, can we get a little bit more out of them? Um, and two, look, the squad is, is going to need to be to be reduced in size, not significantly, but reduced because people become demotivated if, if, if they're out of the squad for too long and so on and that can bring a group down so what we have to do is make sure that everyone is has a realistic chance of being involved and playing and competing and then that competition drives up performance and that performance increases productivity and points and, and then we're a better place. I don't think people realise that you've been a player. When players aren't playing and they're in the dressing room and they're consistently not playing it can create a bit of a poor atmosphere, but everybody recently has said that the squad has got a great atmosphere about it and, and you've brought a bounce and energy, I'm not trying to make you feel wonderful here, you've not you've brought a bounce and an energy to the club that's really refreshing. How have the players reacted this week since the win? You would expect them to be bouncing. Yeah, look, but we, we, one thing we can't do is get carried away. It's one win and it's a win against, yeah, a very good win against a very, very, very good side. And, and we, look, we, 
we, we take full advantage of that, the positivity you give us, the confidence, but also the level of performance. Now we have to make sure we stick to that. But, but look, it is difficult. Change rooms can be difficult. People, when people are not playing, certain attitudes change and so on. And it's important that that can't spread to the collective, you know, in, in terms, at the minute I'm not seeing that, but that, that, you know, that can't continue for, for long periods of time. And that's why we need to make sure that we've got a tight group. Now, the lads that have been here, the lads that are not playing, the actors have been first class and superb. What we don't want them to become is what we call passengers, where they just get dragged along with it. We want people to keep keep driving us forward, driving the environment forward and, and, and embracing the culture. And that's a big thing. So that's where numbers need to be need to be really sort of regimented in, 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 the, in the level we have. But they've been, look, they're a good group and they've trained hard um, and I've had no problems and I want to be fair to them. And I said, how you manage a group is just through honesty. For me, I've always, I've always thought the best policy is honesty. So if someone's doing well and they, 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 they got a right to play and they're not playing, then there needs to be a reason. Well, tell them that reason. If someone isn't playing well and they know in the air where you are and where you need them to get to there, then tell them. And if they disagree, then show them. And if they still disagree, then we, we, we're not going to move forward. You're not going to play many more Miley Cyrus tracks, then. <laughs> no, it's only the one. It's just poignant. I mean, I, was, I, was, I should have looked up who, who done the original, but um, uh, but no, look, it's, it's quite poignant for where we are because I said it's it's been a tough it's been a tough time for me and myself and my staff. You know, leaving a a well-oiled machine to gamble not to gamble, but to, to take a a big step into to here to 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 do or to, or to to attempt to do what we've what we've done at, at somewhere else and it is we've enjoyed it we've enjoyed the challenge and we're enjoying it every day and we and we see we're making head you know headway every single day the players are brought into they've been first class the staff have um, and it's good when you make progress progress is beautiful and I said it's how you make that progress because you realise the tough times you've been through to get there so at times it's not where you end up, it's what you've done to get there. And that's that was the poignant message I wanted to get across because we've all been on journeys, we all come on journeys and sometimes the harder journeys are the better ones. Well good luck with the next step of the journey tomorrow. Thank you very much.